met Herb about a year and a half ago at a competition. Yeah, I won. <laughs> not knowing who he was and, you know, not knowing that we'd be here today a year and a half later teaching together. I've been going to a lot of schools lately and teaching and trying to inspire and motivate upcoming artists. It was cool for a while to teach the, the, the designs and the techniques and the fading techniques, but I felt like I had more to offer. And that's when I, you know, I told Herb, I was like, man, I want to really come in here and talk about social media. Uh, talk about networking, uh, collaborating, marketing, and uh, saving money. You know, and I think a, a, that's a big thing with this industry is a lot of people don't know how to save the money. Also, building a brand, building a name for yourself. This is the foundation how I got started, man. You know, I had I didn't I didn't have no mentor, didn't have nobody to look up to. Really, I had to figure this stuff out on myself. And uh, I think in the long run, it, it made me have more faith in myself and believe more in myself and my brand. Create a cutting name for yourself, you know, right there. You got you got a brand yourself right there. And uh, from that, you know, I went with slogans, let me create. That, that's been my motto since, man, since I was a little kid. I was always just a little kid doing something creative. If it was with landscaping, if it was with building with my dad, um, my mom brought me a pack of white t-shirts home to wear it to school. I took them out and did the sharpie all over them, took them to school and sold them. You know, so I was always just like trying to make a hustle out of anything I get my hands on and uh, try to be creative, man. That's that's just how I've always been as a as a child, as a you know, growing up. Now I'm always trying to create something, and so I go, you know, building your name and building your platform. I, I suggest anybody in here, man, you know, come up with a cutting name, you know, something that's creative and something that's not just your your name and something that people be like oh yeah you know I, I respect that that's creative man and then you go from from that to you know selling to your clients too up selling a, a t-shirt up selling a hat you know you're not just selling a, a haircut anymore you know you're selling yourself and that's you know that's what these high brand names are looking for is somebody who can sell and not just their brand like what are you guys pushing out as artists and entrepreneurs and putting out there is you know your work who has Instagram in here everybody right almost everybody this man this is a powerful tool right here like this is very powerful uh, man I can't even tell you how much how much money I made from social media just from clients I got flown out to Quebec I didn't even know where that was and that man I was just like Man, this could be limitless. This can, you know, go on and on. Like, who knows what can happen, you know? And that's just about being consistent. Like, I'm always posting. I'm always making sure my work looks good. If you guys got, you know, if you guys don't got a professional phone or uh, camera, use your phone, man. iPhone does really good pictures. Uh, make sure, like, when you take photos, there's, it, you know, the background looks clean. No, I don't always win every competition, man. There's a lot of good barbers out there, way better than me. But I go in with confidence, and I know I know what I can do, and I think that's where a lot of people get confused. Is they, you know, they try to look up to somebody and do what somebody else is doing. When it's like, just be yourself, man. You know, like you know, there's only one of you guys, so just be yourself, and uh, you know, figure out your own uh, your own technique and your own style. I was like, that's all right, man, because I'm all about networking. If I can come here and plant a seed in somebody's head and uh, inspire them motivate them that's that's enough money for me honestly you know I'll, i like getting paid but the, the money factor isn't an issue now it's more about me branding myself and built and planting the seed and somebody you know whoever i can and, and make an effect on them and that's my biggest that's where I, I think that fills me up is just motivating you guys and whoever i can i don't know everything i'm sure everybody in here i can learn something from and so uh, as barbers, man, we have this, uh, we have this ego, a ego that's, you know, oh, you know, I don't want nobody to be better than me. I don't want to pick up game from this person because then I, you know, then they, they think they know it all or, you know what I mean? Or, or I'm just too prideful, you know? And so I had, you know, I went through a stage like that too. And, uh, I had to let that go. You know, a lot of people think I still have this ego, but when they really talk to me and get to know me, they're like, man, he's, you know, he's human. And so... I think this industry, uh, the ego gets in the way of a lot of opportunities, like big opportunities. And uh, I think, you know, showing love to other, other barbers or hairstylists and like, like, man, that's dope. That's a dope cut. You know, I think, you know, that will go a long way. Don't let the ego get in the way, man. It's, it's, it's important. Uh, learn from anybody, man. You know, 
you guys all go to school together here, man. Take pictures of each other and post it. And you know, your following will start following their following. Their following will start following your following. Just build that brand, build that network up, and showing that you're putting in the work. Nobody got to say anything. All right, I got go a question. What, what's your most common mistake? My common mistake, man, is uh, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, man, I try, I try to, you know, I try to not make mistakes. Um, I don't, I don't think nobody's ever asked me that, man. Um, but I do make mistakes. You know what I mean? But I play it off like I never do, and I think that's what you know makes my client feel comfortable. Um, makes myself, huh? Confidence. Confidence. Yeah, you know. You, it's, it's all about the confidence, and even when I do make a mistake, I'll fix it and still win from that and still come out with a victory out of that, you know? Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, what advice would you give a female in the male-dominated industry to not get pushed out or, like, pushed aside? Um, you know, that's actually really big right now. I've been seeing a lot of female uh, barbers coming up and um, really taking advantage of it. I think, um, I think... Like I said, you know, show your work, you know, have your work prove itself. Um, I think uh, females would have a better advantage than do They do have. You know, <laughs> they, they I do. almost get touched by a female <laughs> and not a man. You know what I mean? I would just say keep pounding. Yeah, you know, you, you know, details. Work, Pay attention to the details. Um, don't let that, you know, discourage you and push you out, out of the way. Um, because it... it for a while, it was a change that you're seeing female barbers, but now like it's it's just com it's more to be common now. You know, there's a lot of female barbers, and Absolutely. I think uh, I think it is like oh, it's more of, oh, is she good? Yeah. You know, just put in your work, uh, learn, um, tell your client every time. You know, like hey, this, if it's your first time cutting them, hey, the haircut's only gonna get better. You know, I tell all my clients like hey, oh, you like this cut? Wait, three more cuts, and you're gonna really yeah, like it. You're, you're, learning, you're, learning, yeah. you're learning the hair. You're, you're learning the head. You're learning the hair growth, the pattern, uh, the uh, coarseness or fineness of the hair, and so everything is. You know, take pictures of work, even if it's not a haircut that you like. Take take a picture, go home and examine. You know, look at it, try to be like, hey, I could do something better right here, next time on the person. You know, and uh, I'm always taking photos of my work. Always, even if I don't even like the haircut, you know, I'm always just trying to learn for myself. And I think the biggest teacher is yourself, you know. So I, want to add that. I want to say, uh, uh, as a female, be confident. Yeah. You know, just be confident. As confident as men, men are, and uh, know that you went and did the same hours that a man did. Mm -hmm. So you're no less than what we, we are just because, you know, you're a female. Yeah. You know, so. Go out into the industry and just let them know. If anybody come at you with funny stuff, hey, hey, I'd I spend the same hours mm -hmm. that that man that you going to sit in, in his chair spent at barber school. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the same hours then, I took the same test he took, passed the same test he passed. Uh, so I'm just as, you know, qualified as he is. I think, uh, but um, put in work, work though. Yeah, you know? I think a big thing for you would be is uh, to uh, know the different hairstyles. Like, you know, a fade, high fade, mid fade, low fade, taper fade, or taper, you know, or just a lineup, you know, know those. It's kind of like me, I'm a, I'm not even a barber, I'm a cosmetologist. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like me going in that field and trying to master female hair, mm -hmm. or use a iron or a curling iron, you know what I mean? So it's, it's I could get there, but I gotta, you know, I gotta learn how to work with all those tools and, you know, those hairstyles, and mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Go what, ahead. What, um, what? What fears did you have to overcome? Uh, losing, yeah. man. I think that's the biggest fear is just losing. Uh, nobody wants to lose, man. Nobody wants to fail. You know, I think for a long time, I, it's crazy. I was, I was thinking on the way down here, like I was like, man, like for a long time, I was trying to prove something to everybody, yeah. and I, myself. I was trying to prove something to myself, you know. And I think uh, just because I knew I had to get. I didn't know exactly what it was, man. I, as a kid, I used to do everything. I used to teach dancing, uh, draw, I paint. Um, I used to have a, a, a entertainment company called Music. Uh, I didn't. I was lost. I felt like I was lost, and I was trying to figure out what I was good at. Yeah. Cutting hair, yeah. you know. I got tattooing for a little bit, and I had to. I had to figure out. I had to figure out my my lane, yeah. you know. And I think that's the biggest thing is figuring out your lane. 
um, and not be scared to lose, man, because there's going to be people that doubt you, and there's going to be a lot of friends that support you, but also in the back of their head, they're doubting you. They don't want to see you win. You know, so at the end of the day, it's like, don't do it for, you know, other people. Do it for yourself. Do it. Do, do what pleases you. And I think that's where I'm at a point in my life is like, I'm like, man, if you don't like me, that's your problem. Yeah. You, you can't learn that from me. That's your problem. Yeah. You know, like I know where, what I stand behind yeah. and what I can do and what I can provide for myself and other people. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. I think that's a good question, man, because uh, a lot of people, they, they'll go through that and like, man, they don't <coughs> know what they're, you know, why they don't do what they want to do. Yeah, that's what I asked was like. I was stuck in between this and, yeah. and running my landscaping company. So exactly, do I want to continue this? Yeah, mm-hmm. part of landscaping because I'm great at it. I'm yeah, and you're already making, making money, money at it. it. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, do I want to stop to get into the bar? I mean, I've been cutting hair since I was a kid. Yeah, especially when I cut my just cut grass. <laughs> That's how I started taking it. Yeah. And then you know, people come out like, man, I edge up this life. So I'm like, well, I want yeah. that to be on somebody's head. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then I got into the cutting. I think I was in my fourth grade. Yeah. My dad cut my hair on picture day and gave me a bowl cut. So I go, I go to school and I'm looking at this cut. I'm like, nah, I can't ride yeah. like that. So I run home, grab the clippers and just so take it all off. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just kind of tap in with a, with a little lineup, so I was like, yeah, so I knew I had that. Yeah. And I knew I had as far as uh, cutting grass and landscape, yeah. so I've always been battling with those. It's real similar. Yeah. You so know, I, that's what I want to be as a kid, with, as a, with a that, professional yeah, landscaper. Just, it, it, it took off. Like, when I moved to the state of Washington, yeah. it just took off. Like, yeah. I just, I was like, oh, wait a minute, like, what about all the investment you did put into the bar, the bar exactly. equipment, and cutting, you know, the kids, my boys, and, yeah. you know, cutting my neighbors, and, the fact that um always growing up in a barbershop, here I am back in a yeah. barbershop with a bunch of great barbers, you know. Yeah. What I mean? So that's why I just asked that I, I dealt with that. Yeah, and that's the, that's the thing, man. Is you know don't be scared to ask those questions, man, because everybody, like I said, the pride gets in the way, man, and everybody, you know, sometimes it, they're not too confident to ask that because they, they, they that's why I asked. people are gonna look at them like, oh man, he don't even know what he's doing, or he's I, lost. Or I took everything I had and invested it. Yeah, there you yeah, go. So it's like, <laughs> and so yeah, and that's the thing, man. You gotta win, you know. Yeah. You gotta win now. So it's like, you know, and there's there's doubt, and you know, some sometimes I have a little doubt myself still. Yeah. But you know, I try to overcome that. And be like, man, I've I've been doing this for so long. It's, you know, there's nowhere to go but up. Yeah. You know. That's the deal. Any other questions? Go ahead, bro. What do you think is like the hardest part of like starting marketing yourself? Um, I think the work, you know, putting out good work because, you, you know, you don't want to, you know, put out sloppy work, but you also you do because I'm going to tell you this, man, a lot of people, a lot of clientele will still come to you if you're confident and, you know, you're good at what you're doing as, you know, professionalism and, uh, you know, you're trying, yeah, your growth, you know what I mean? And so, and I think people like seeing the progress, you know what I mean? I think that's a big and I think in life, man, the progress in life with anything and anybody is is beautiful, man. People people want to see that, you know what I mean? So if, if like I said, man, just make sure your photos are clean. If you're not putting out the best work, you know, hey, I'm trying, you know, and watch yourself grow as a barber, you know, because that you're gonna look back at your stuff three years from now and be like, dang, yeah. that's crazy. I, I mean, I got stuff from three years ago. I'm like, what the heck was I doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Every, every day you're learning, man. Well, that's why it's the consistency you have. Exactly. You know, be better, 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 better. better. Yep. Yeah. Putting time in, uh, you know, take soaked up game from anybody, man. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, you know, barbers in the area that you can go learn from, I'm sure. Come up to the north, north end and visit me, her, whoever, man. There's a lot of things that you can do to motivate you and get you better, you know. And I think you just got to figure out what works for you in the long run, you know. And again, don't be afraid, like, to look for a mentor and stuff like yeah. that. Like, I mentor him. He mentors me. Like, mm-hmm. like I call him when there's stuff that I want to do design wise. He calls me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to ask the peers. Yeah. For help, or you know, it don't matter what your level is. Yeah. I feel feel I'm one of the best in the state, but I'm gonna still call another barber and say, I'm thinking about doing this certain, certain thing. Mm-hmm. How do you think I should, you know, go about starting that or finishing it or how it should look? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to ask other bar- barbers for you know tips. I think that's what has built our bond 
as uh, you know, not just being you know Barbara Brothers, but like you know, man, I I consider him a good friend, a mentor. Man, he slept on my couch. I've slept on his couch. But it's like we still call each other like, hey, we think about this, man. I call him all the time, like, dude, I gotta do something new, man. I gotta keep these people on their toes. And he's and he, he's heard enough to catch you off sorry, but heard heard the excellent, excellent, excellent. Just yeah. Like the past week and a half of knowing him, real uh, stand up guy, honest yeah. guy, um, a realist, man. Yeah. Like you know, I couldn't cut a style or the lick. You yeah. know what I mean? And here I am now, like there you, you know, learning different fades and. You want to all even with a lineup, I'm a man that comes to yeah. the part, you know, fading out and blending, like, yeah. in a week, in a week's time, like, he taught me, like, a lot. Like, yeah. yesterday, I'm walking to the market, uh, grocery shop, and looking at different heads, like, oh, I can yeah. cut that head, or, or he should let me come cut his head, but that's due to the level of exactly. confidence in a matter of five days, yeah. six days, he day. I, before yeah. I met her, I haven't cut head in, like, three months. Yeah. He came into my life. I cut five heads in what two days. Yeah, there you go, man. So he, he's he's great, great. Exactly. Oh, no, that's awesome, man. And I think that's a, that's the beauty of it, bro. Is your day, your life can change in a matter of days or weeks or months. Yeah. You know, now you're on a new career path, and who knows where you can end up in five years, man? You might be able to get sponsored before me. I don't yeah. know. You yeah. know, I just don't know. All right, dude. So let me show you guys the basics of designs. My guy, hey, so I'm gonna take this boat down first. You know, if a client comes in, let's just say this client comes in and says, I want some stars on the side, and just a little tape on the back. So me, I'm gonna start on the side that they say they want the design on, take the little boat down. And now, easy it is to do a star, so. Me and myself, what I'm gonna do on the side of this head is I'm gonna start my first my first line. I'm just be a straight straight line up. I'm gonna bring my other one just like a triangle. And my next line will be across the top. And I'm gonna tie that one in the other corner. And the thing with star is to make sure all the line, lines are straight. Bring this one in. And what I'm going to do, once I get it on the head, I'm going to erase all the hair on the in inside, which would be this. And then the other thing, you know, to get there to make it, you know, a little fancier, you know, you can add another double line on the outside. How much of a space would you put in between the first star and that double outline? For the double out, uh, outline, you can go with as much space or, or as little space, just depending on what you want to do. Uh, I'd like start. I think a good space and like we'll start with a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then from there, you can even make these lines thicker, or this could be thinner, and then make this line thicker. You know, and it gives it diff different dimensions. And as I'm doing this on the head, I'm only using the corners because of the small space I'm working with. I can't use the full blade. So, you're only using the corners. Very important, like, to really see how I'm just using the just corners. the corners. All corner work. All right. So you can see where we're at. And now you see the question uh, someone asked earlier was, uh, gonna be here. what's going to be here? Now you see what the double line li line does and just made the start pop. Yeah, right, so what are we doing today, Aaron? Man, honestly, I want I want to see what you guys would want to do in this hair. I mean, he got some mohawk, as you guys can see. So I could do a design that goes with this. So the Louis V. The Louis V. The Louis v. Yeah, that would go. Down, on, maybe on one side. Yeah. And then do some on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, yeah. Or the Versace. The Versace, that's what I mean. The Versace, oh, yeah. the Versace, the Versace. my bad. The Versace, the Versace thing, thing, yeah. So as you guys can look. see, you got his line right here. So I'm gonna go base myself off of that, that line right here. Then I still got some, I still got some room in here to bring down the design, just so I know that I have uh, some <coughs> contrast to work with and everything. So on this side, he's doing the Versace. On the other side, we're gonna show you guys something a little different and crazy. I'm gonna 
just throw some lines in there and then we're gonna show you guys how to create just from nothing. Oh. I'm gonna just throw the lines and then he's gonna create from the lines I throw in, in the head. To show you guys that with freestyling, you, you don't really have to have like a, something that you're doing, you kind of just, you just go off the north. That's why it's called freestyling. So basically my focus is, I don't want to take them too high up in here. Right here is his parietal edge. I want to probably go about this high with the, the top of the design. So from there, I'm going to just kind of use my finger and see where to go right here. As you guys see, I'm just using the edge. Just getting, you know, my basic line in there. Start rounding it out. And like I said, I'm gonna do some lines on this side. This is all part of let me pre create. To show you guys how with the thing, this is what we did in Cali when we captured it. I started something, we had two heads side by side. I started on a head and then I went over here while he started on that and he came over on this head and just had to just take uh, take over from where I went mm -hmm. without even knowing where what was I was it? doing, without me knowing what he's doing on this side. Yeah. And so, so I was just start some stuff while he's showing you guys this. Basically, with the Versace sign, you need it wide to be able to fit the, the other lines in. So I'm gonna start from wide and come out to a point. So if any of you guys ever wanna do a tag team battle, this is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so see how like, you know, this area right here is his lineup. So I'm going to try my best to get the design in here, creating or being able to with the, uh, the lineup. So knowing that these lines come up and out, I'm going to start with this line right here. I'm going to come up and come right here. But watch, watch just from this little line to this line, watch how this will create its own little design with the lineup. Uh. Two brave barbers who want to just put a line, that's it. He wants to throw, to throw a line on the side, just in this space down here. And he wouldn't want to just put like a, a curved line, line or a straight curve. line, it don't matter. Straight, straight or curved. Yeah, down in there. Straight or curved. So Aaron's going to come in after this and he's going to take. Not connected to this one, right? No, nope, just put a line somewhere anywhere. See how you got your own little design in here, too? Mm -hmm. So then. I'm gonna just keep flowing with the, the pattern of the uh, Versace logo. So my focus is to have enough gap in between all these Anybody lines. I'm gonna drop the line yeah. on this side. I won't. Come on, dude, you want to whatever. It don't matter. And then we'll just drop the line in there. Straight or, or curved or zigzag. From matter. here. I'm going to go off of this line again, come up. My goal is to have this line match this line. But also, I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm going to gap it out. Don't tie in the middle of it. I'm going to that line real quick, directly over. Like right here. Stay within this area, right? So it don't matter. Side area. Don't let it touch another line, though. Same thing. I'm gonna go from this line directly over. Give it a little gap. Go up. See how all these lines are. This line's matching up with that line. This line's matching up with that line. That's that's my biggest goal with this design. Is I want all these lines to match up right there. You know what I mean? That's the, the pattern of all. This is all, like I said, this is all rough draft. I'm gonna come in and clean up all these lines. Too much L's. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Yeah, that's all it is. The L's. Just L's. Yeah. So like I said, these 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 lines right here, I want to all line up. 
And that's the preciseness of the design. And you know, a lot of people will come in and their, their lines are all just kind of everywhere, which you'll still see the Versace sign, but this is all about uh, preciseness. You know, this is not a hard design to do. It's real simple, like they said, it's all, all it really is is an L. L going down, L coming up, down, back up. That's all it is. Now, what we're gonna do, I mean, I'm kind of surprising him, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna finish off his design on the side while he comes over here and show you guys why he's one of the baddest dudes <laughs> in Washington by doing the design off of just these lines that were placed over, over here. So you see how you're stepping back and you're analyzing, trying, trying like to see this is a if you can, if you can <laughs> see something, if you can make something out, out of this. Which if you're a freestyle design artist, which he is and a cha champion at and what he does, he's gonna find something. So, I'll be over here. What I see right here would be awkward if I did anything around in this area. Um, so I wanna, like I said, from over here, I don't want to go too much into this. I want to keep that as natural as I can. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to branch off of this line. I'm going to come up and then yeah. follow through. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know? Like the yeah. Something. Yeah, you can, whatever you want to do, man. Maybe. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how this is rounding out. I'm going to throw that same kind of roundness into this one. And see how that roundness kind of looks a little awkward. Just sticking that line up. Don't rush it, you know, try to figure out points that match up. Um, a lot of it's just random lines, but you know, it's starting to come together. So now I got this. Let's do something similar over here in these parts. Let's see when I'm like this. You got you got two sections of your line work. When I'm hitting like this, I'm hitting this upper line. I'll turn them. Hit this bottom line. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why he wanted the best. Come in here, do a short little line. How many of you guys thought that was a crazy idea to even just throw, throw some random lines in? Shows you guys the mind of a, you know, when your mind gets to that. And level sometimes, of sometimes I don't even see uh, exactly what it's going to be till mm -hmm. after. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, damn, that turned out like what, what something I didn't even think was going to turn out. Mm -hmm. That arrow's so far. <laughs> see, I, I don't even know what arrow. What, what are you saying? I see an arrow. I see 2019 <laughs> exactly. Airbender, bro. Hey, that's the dope thing about it. It's like everybody's going to see their, you know, something else. So when I fade, I like to skip areas. So say I got hair here, I'm going to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fade this one out. I'm not flush to the head, just using the corner of my clippers. And you fade Open the all the way. I'm fading down low. You see how that just, that gives it dimension. You know what I mean? So I'm going to skip over here and do the same thing. You got hair, hair. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Quarter inch open. Another quarter inch open. Guard. Close. See how we just took the side of the head that just had some random lines and turned it into artwork. And the reason I did that is because, you know, you get one day you're going to get somebody that comes in that had scars in their head. And this and this, and you're gonna have to tie in the lines to give them something. Everybody, one thing that they learned today, you know, and just give a little bit of feedback. What'd you learn? Dope I learned a lot, man. Just the tech, different techniques, and, and get some babbles. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, man? The processes, <laughs> some yeah. shapes, and connected points. Linda Gonzalez. Uh, I learned that the dope going barber, the design is just mm -hmm. confidence. Yeah. yeah, make those lines and just go with it, and let yourself be creative. Albert. Don't overthink stuff. Simplicity is key. Yeah. 
a freestyle is a freestyle. You can't mess up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Just take Tono. your time with it and let it create itself. It's pretty Alex much. Cho, my other bro. I like how you turn the trimmers upside Jackie. down to the bottom line, the top line on the same line. T. Williams, Teresa Masuas. Being patient, being motivated, being creative. I'd just like to thank God. Donald yeah. Taylor, one of the greatest, Barry Crosby. Yeah, let's go important hey. some networking. Make sure you guys watch Shop Culture tomorrow. Oh, using mannequins is horrible for design. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on Shop Culture tomorrow. All that for that guy for his Talking beat about licensing and barber shops. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm going to put a heart and some lines in somebody's head. There you go. What did you learn, man? Peace, dude. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's right. Right, thank you guys for letting us come through and you know, different stuff. Yeah. Hey, let's get a quick pick, pick though. Yeah. Put in front of the uh, banner. I don't know who's gonna take. You gonna take it? Yeah. How's it going? My name is Tristan Flake. I'm the owner of the Olympia Barber School. Today we had the privilege of having Aaron Davis and Herb the Barber come teach a design class for us today. Um, they talked about marketing, networking, uh, staying up on your sales, and saving money. Um, doing a design, you can add that upsell to your haircut already. You can get a dope design in just 10 more minutes. Uh, just getting that money, um, retaining your clients, and we really appreciated that they influenced our students today.